section B start from your page number 167 and here we start going to start the first question out of section D the information of number of flowers on 100 plants of a nursery is given below find the quartile deviation of the number of flowers from it now here are the observations are given and the frequency as well first of all let's take all the information in the table and as we are finding quartile deviation we only need cumulative frequency this is the discrete information of uh, discrete information to find out quartile deviation so here we are going to use the formula n plus 1 so first of all we will get ready with the cumulative frequency that is just an addition of frequency Pele 5 lelo, 5 plus 8 it will be 13 13 plus 13 26 plus 20 46 plus 22 68 plus 18 86 plus 10 96 and plus 4 becomes 100 hope you all remember if discrete information ho to hamara formula to find out the quartile here i'm going to write down that is n plus 1 upon 4 j this is what the formula we will use bada wala formula ka use karna hai jab continuous frequency distribution diya ho ye hame discrete information diya hai to this formula will be go so here value of the observation that's what how that's how it should be written j up pehle q1 boon rahe to keep one like value of j ke jaga pe one n that is 100 total number of frequency will be your n 100 plus 1 divided by 4 the observation it will become value of 100 plus 1 101 divided by 4 the observation do the calculation in your calculator you will get 101 divided by 4 25.25th observation now out of this the observation has to be selected but 25 wala number hume dekhna hai ki cumulative frequency mein kaha aayega 26 wali row mein aayega yahan pe aap mark karo jo observation select hota hai that would be your q1 so therefore q1 is equal to 15 in the same way we will also find out q3 that is q3 value of j n plus 1 divide by 4 the observation j will be the number which we are finding quartile hum third quartile dun rahe to yahan pe 3 aayega and here n is 100 1 divided by 4 the observation out of this calculation already we know the answer will be 25.25 पहले bracket वाला calculation remove कर दो then open the bracket and get multiply this number with 3 and here you will get value of 75 or the 75th observation now find out in cumulative frequency where it will come 75 वाला number 68 भी कम है 86 में आएगा so let us make a marking and find out the observation so here therefore q3 is 21 now we will find out quartile deviation that is q3 minus q1 divided by here 2 quartile deviation will remember now q3 value is 21 and q1 is 15 divide by 2 21 minus 15 will be 6 upon 2 and 2 ones are 2 threes are so here we get 3 answer for the quartile deviation moving to the next question the information of number of goal in 16 matches of hockey tournament is given find the mean deviation of number of goal for it now here the number of goal that is observation and number of matches has been given. So first let's take the information in our table and out of this first we are going to find out fx that is the multiplication of these two column as we are finding mean deviation. 
hope you all have remembered the formula of mean deviation so first of all we'll first find out fx so 1 1s are 1 2 4s are 8 3 6s are 18 4 4s are 16 and 5 1s are 5 now out of this first take the total of it to find out the mean that is 48 mean is equal to sigma x upon n that is 48 and n remember the frequency the the total number of frequency will be your n here we get the answer 3 after right after finding mean write down mean deviation formula so which would be helpful to find out the columns which is going to be find out that is sigma f x minus x bar upon n now out of this first just check here we have the x column and the mean that is x bar just now we found so let's make a calculation and find out here x minus x bar and if we keep the absolute bracket the answer have to turn into positive so here first take the x value 1 minus 3 you will get 2 1 chota number hai 3 bada number hai obviously answer minus mein aayega par yahan pe jab aap absolute bracket rakh dete ho aapko minus nahi lagana hai just give the positive answer next 2 minus 3 that is 1 3 minus 3 0 4 minus 3 1 5 minus 3 will be 2 exactly we don't need this column we actually need with frequency wala column to ye wala column multiply hoga frequency ke saath 2 ones are 2 to find out the frequency x minus x bar next 1 fours are 4 0 six are 0 1 fours are 4 2 ones are 2 and that's what the total we need and that is 12 so let's take into the formula thing which we have found that is sigma f x minus x bar the total of this column here we take 12 divide by n that is 16 and here the answer is 0 0.75 question number 11 in usual notation sigma d is equal to 25 sigma d square is 272 and is equal to 100 and assume mean is equal to 4 find the coefficient of variance now you can see the formula the ये जो information दी है वो shortcut formula जो आपके textbook में भी दिया है so out of this here first take all the information in your book and out of that first we'll write down the formula here is the formula to find out coefficient of variation that is standard deviation divided by mean into 100 now out of this information that is sigma d sigma d square n and assume mean that's what the formula has to be used this is the formula has been introduced in the last chapter not in this chapter but in the last chapter it has been introduced and the same formula is already given in your textbook as well so first let's start finding here assume mean which is given in the question 4 plus sigma d that is 25 and n is 100 4 plus first get it divide 25 divide by 100 you will get 0 0.25 get them add will be 4.25 that's what the mean next we'll find out standard deviation now for this sigma d square that is 272 divide by n that is 100 minus sigma d that is 25 divide by 100 whole square get it divide you will get 2.72 minus 0 0.25 whole square out of this calculation 2.72 minus get them multiply like 0 0.25 multiply by 0 0.25 you will get 0 0.0625 get them subtract as I don't have a space I am going to write here you will get 2.6575 and then remove the root you will get 1.63 the answer now take this information 
and keep into the formula of coefficient of variance variation standard deviation we got 1.63 the mean we found 4.25 into 100 let them divide out of this two multiplication we'll get 163 divided by 4.25 and get them divide you will get 38.352 2 5 के डिजिट से कम है तो यहां पे कोई इंक्लूसिव नहीं होगा इट विल बी रिमेन 38.35 अगर 5 होता तो आगे बढ़ाते राइट सो हियर वी कंप्लीट द क्वेश्चन नंबर 11 मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट फाइंड द कंबाइंड स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन यूजिंग द फॉलोइंग इंफॉर्मेशन नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन दैट वुड बी आर n दिस इज आर n n1 एंड n2 नेक्स्ट मीन that is mean 1 will be 113 and mean 2 will be 120 and S1 that is 6 and S2 will be 7. So first let's write down the formula which has to be kept for to find out combined standard deviation. Here is the formula to find out combined standard deviation but remember you have to go in a steps. Step 1 first find out combined mean. Step 2 then D1 and D2. The third step will be to find out combined standard deviation. So out of this information, first we'll find out combined mean. Ye aapka mean 1, mean 2, n1, n2 and the standard deviation 1 and standard deviation 2. Now let's take the information in the combined mean. n1 that is 50 and mean 1 is 113 plus n2 is 60 and mean 2 is 120. Yeah, n1 plus n2 that is 50 plus 60. So first get it multiply. Here you will get 5650 plus 60 into 120. In the you will get 50 plus 60. Here it becomes 110. Now add this two number, you will get 12850 divided by 110. And the answer of combined mean is 116.818. Now this is the third digit which is more than 5. So the next digit will number one number. That is 116.82. That's a combined mean. The combined mean has to be kept in this formula. So we first find out combined mean. Next is mean 1. That is 113 minus combined mean is 116.82. Get, it, get them subtract minus 3.82 as you can see पीछे वाला number की value ज़्यादा है आगे से तो answer minus में आएगा same will do for to find out d2 that is mean 2 is 120 minus combined mean that is 116.82 get them minus here you will get 3.80 so here we have the information of D1 and D2 which is going to be kept in the com combined standard deviation formula. Now let's keep all the information in formula. First we'll take N1 that is 50. S1 square. So first we'll take the 6 and put square and put one more bracket because even D1 have to be find out in the square. So D1 is minus 3.82 and also have to be removed square of it plus n2 that is second observation of set b that is 60 again standard has to be kept in the square take for 7 plus d2 that is 3.18 also remove square of it divide by n1 plus n2 that is 50 plus 60 keep 50 as it is first remove the square of it 6 6 are 36 plus minus 3.82 multiply by minus 3.82 you will get 14.59 plus 60 7 7 are 49 plus 3.18 multiply by 3.18 you will get 10.11
नेक्स्ट फिफ्टी प्लस सिक्सटी विल बी हंड्रेड एंड टेन कीप फिफ्टी एज इट इज गेट देम एड फर्स्ट यू विल गेट फिफ्टी पॉइंट फिफ्टी नाइन प्लस सिक्सटी अगेन एड देम यू विल गेट फिफ्टी नाइन पॉइंट इलेवन डिवाइड बाय हंड्रेड एंड टेन Now we'll multiply with fifty this number. Fifty get multiply with fifty point fifty nine. You will get two five two nine point five plus sixty get multiply with fifty nine point eleven. You will get three five four six point six divide by hundred and ten. As I don't have a space here, get them add. You will get six. Zero seven six point ten divided by hundred and ten. Out of this calculation, if we divide, we get five fifty five point twenty four, and then remove the square root of it, you will get seven point forty three. Next question. Question number thirteen. The sum of ten observation is eighty, and the sum of their square is eight hundred. Find coefficient of variation in the of the observation. Now out of these. Question: Ten observation that is your n, and the sum of ten observation is eighty. That is your sigma x. The total of ten observation here you get eighty. That will be called as a sigma x. And next is the sum of their square. मतलब sigma x का square will be eight hundred. Now out of this information here they ask you to find out coefficient of variance. Remember s divided by standard deviation divided by mean into hundred. Now, out of this information, first we have to find out mean. Mean formula is obviously we have a sigma x and n. So, out from this we can find out formula uh, mean that is eighty divided by ten. The answer of mean is eight. The next is to find out standard deviation. अब ऐसी information पे standard deviation वाला formula याद है आपको raw data that has to be used. That is sigma x square upon n minus Sigma x upon n whole square. So first, sigma x square that is eight hundred divided by n that is ten minus sigma x is eighty divided by ten whole square. Now first let's get them divide. Here we get the answer eighty minus here eight and square of it eight is a sixty four. Get them minus. You will get sixteen. And if you remove the root of sixteen, it is four. Now we can find out coefficient of variance. That is s upon mean into hundred. As just now we found four, and the mean which we have found that is eight into hundred. Get them calculate. You will get the answer fifty percent. and here we complete section d moving to the next section e